Thanks a lot. Uh, welcome everybody. Uh, today is the final day of class uh, in the class uh, Neuro Economics at the Erasmus School of Economics. Uh, my students are going to present uh, their final presentation on neuroscience and neuroeconomics. And I'm very curious what they have to say because this has been a challenging and interesting class. Thanks a lot. Good luck. Hi, have probably all heard of the party drug ecstasy. Um, nowadays, if you go to a party or to a festival, you have a good chance to running into somebody who is under the influence of ecstasy. MDMA is the main content of uh, ecstasy, of ecstasy pills. Uh, MDMA causes an increase in dopamine and serotonin in the brain. Uh, these are both monoamines. Uh, you probably learned what it is uh, at your midterm exam. But uh, these are mod neuromodulators that influence the neurotransmitters GABA and glutamate. GABA is the inhibiting uh, neurotransmitter and glutamate the excitatory. Um, serotonin and dopamine are both excit excitatory neuromodulators. Um, this, ca this can be by blocking GABA, so they, they block the, uh, the break effect, um, the inhibiting effect, or they can facilitate glutamate, so they give some extra stimulation to the excitatory effect modulator. Um, it causes a euphoric feeling, compulsion and perseveration. Uh, perseveration is that you just keep acting the same actions over and over again. So you keep dancing, you keep talking uh, more than you do normally in a natural state. The first long term effect I'm going to talk about is brain damage. Uh, it was tested on animals that MDMA uh, yeah, it harms certain brain cells, but it's not fully known to which extent these uh, problems develop in the human brain. Uh, it is known that if you're classified as a heavy user, so more than twice a month, uh, MDMA affects your memory as well as your ability to concentrate. And the more you use, the heavier these effects uh, get. Also, a recent study of the University of Amsterdam uh, shows that ecstasy makes the brain shrink. Uh, the next long-term effect is uh, depression. Depression is a symptom of ecstasy that affects everyone who uses it, even if you use it only once. Because um, ecstasy raises the level of serotonin in the brain. And as Niels already told, uh, uh, NDMA stops uh, the monoamine oxidase from uh, breaking off the, if they're breaking down the serotonin, so it keeps building up. Also, uh, Ecstasy does not uh, doesn't only stop uh, serotonin from returning; it also drains the serotonin reserves in the neurons, uh, which all come down to an accumulation of serotonin in the uh, synapses, and uh, this uh, results in uh, that the that a lot of action potentials fire, which causes you to feel happy and euphoria. But it all seems fine. But uh, three to four days later. Uh, when the after effects of ecstasy run out, you'll be left with a shortage of uh, serotonin and that makes you feel uh, depressed, if you have depression. And the more you use ecstasy, the more your brain gets used to the extra stimulation and the longer these depressions will last. And the last uh, effect is physical problems, uh, such as heat exhaustion, dental problems, uh, cardiac dysrhythmia and kidney failures. And especially um, heat, uh, heat exhaustion is very dangerous uh, when you combine ecstasy with alcohol because alcohol dries you out and ecstasy makes you want to move more. It, and, uh, it makes time fly by so you, you, don't real, you don't realize how thirsty you really are. And this combined with the heat in the club or the sun at a festival uh, can cause you to faint or even have a heat stroke with deadly results. Okay, well, um, ecstasy experience is a great experience for most people who use it, but uh, uh, that's mainly caused in the brain by an increased serotonin and dopamine level, uh, yeah, like I explained. And it's important to notice that there are also a lot of different uh, negative effects, so uh, if you use it, be careful. That's it, thank you.